Hi there folks, it's Friday and welcome back to Rich Reviews. I hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend. I know I'm going to. So let's get on with today's film here. Mine, and this is co-written and directed by two people who calling themselves Fabio. They're, both Fabio's last names are hard to pronounce, so I'm not going to try to do that here. So this was, so mine was primarily shot in the desert of the Canary Islands. That's the most interesting fact about this film here. So two Marines head atop a ridge in an unnamed African country. Their names are Mike, played by Army Hammer, and Tommy, played by Tom Cullen. And their mission is to assassinate this warlord or renowned terrorist that's been in hiding for a while. Unfortunately, due to Mike's indecision, they're forced to go on the run, also because the terrorists' henchmen go after them. Obviously, they're in the desert, and they're miles from base camp, and so they raid you in, and they're told, okay, go to this remote area, we'll, we'll extract you from there. Considering that this is a desert that's been ravaged by war, obviously there are landmines. Fortunately, Tommy steps on a landmine, and just as Mike is about to help Tommy, he unfortunately steps on one as well. He realizes he can't move, and there's a good chance if he steps off, it'll explode. So, obviously, the radio is in. They tell him, okay, we have to wait 52 hours before we can send help here, obviously. <laughs> this leads to Mike just either standing still or kneeling because obviously he can't get off, can't do anything more. And obviously the sun is scorching hot. Really, there's one interesting scene here. A ginormous sandstorm approaches Army Hammy's character and he has to hold on for dear life because he fears he was blown up if he, you know, gets off the landmine here. And of course, the only other person that visits him is a bed bearer who either, you know, tries to drive him insane or at least partially convince him, hey, just step off the landmine. There's a conceivably good chance that, yeah, you won't be blown up. Um, of course, you do get to learn a little bit about psyche and it's not particularly interesting. Obviously, he was brought up in an abusive home. His father was abusive, his mother was on the receiving end of that abuse. He has a girlfriend named Jenny who is incredibly patient with him. He wants him to commit to her more thoroughly, which he's incapable of doing. Again, here's the thing, folks. It's like, you know, 127 hours, all is lost. Those were two interesting films about people who were stuck in very bad circumstances. And if you find a film interesting about a person stuck on a landmine, okay, there you go. That's a... Uh, I can't say I was ever bored watching this film. I can't say I was ever thought I was thrilled. Army Hammer is good looking. Yes, he look. We feel sorry for him as he's being baked under this hot sun, taking off gear or trying to help figure out what gear could help save him, or he uses up the last of his suit or he drinks his own pee. So in the end, folks, if you're looking to waste an hour and forty some odd minutes, you could do worse with mine. It's something that you can, again, you can waste your time with and not think twice after it. So in the end, folks, what I'm going to say here is that mine is a Netflix rental. Again, you can, again, you can spend an hour and 40 minutes. So, folks, what did you think of mine? Did you happen to like this film? Did you not care for it at all? Please put that in the comment box below. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and reach yourself of knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks.